another hybrid laptop tablet, this time from Dell. But how does it stack up? The big W himself, Walt Mossberg, weighs in right here, right now on Digits. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Simon Constable and the big W is waiting for us in Washington, D.C. And there he is. Walt, thanks for joining us. I'm always happy to be here, Simon. Great. So tell us about this this hybrid. We've been hearing a lot about these sort of hybrid laptop tablet things that are coming out. This one's from Dell. What What is it and how does it stack up? Well, the basic idea of, of these hybrids is to take uh, uh, one machine and make it function as a good laptop and as a good tablet. And that stems from the fact that Windows 8, which they all use, has, tap, has a tablet interface and the traditional Windows interface. So the idea is to match the hardware to that same duality. Mm -hmm. Now, this one um, has some interesting features that you particularly like. Um, it's a novel approach to switching between the tablet and the laptop function. Tell us about that. Right, and I think we should start with that because Dell deserves credit for a really uh, cool, innovative design. Uh, most of the uh, hybrids use um, hinges that you know require you to kind of contort and fold the machine or twist it, or they use a slider. Dell has done something clever. They, the screen actually flips around within the frame of the lid, and uh, it's, it flips quite smoothly, and it locks in nice and tight. And so you have your regular laptop. You just press on the back, screen flips, fold it down, and it then becomes a, a tablet-type uh, form factor. The problem is that even though Dell has done a clever job with this, just like all the other convertibles that I have reviewed, um, it's fine as a laptop, but once it gets into its tablet mode, um, it really is heavy and thick and d not what you've come to expect from, say, an iPad or an Android tablet or even a Windows tablet that's made just as a tablet. So it's a thick, heavy tablet. Now this one, uh, this one is run on the Windows 8 operating system. Is is that a right. good thing for this? Is that is that being helpful to it? Well, it, it, yes. I mean, the operating system, uh, you know, has regular desktop windows, but the start screen, which has replaced the start menu, is essentially a touch tablet operating system. It has its own apps that only run in the start screen that are more like uh, uh, iPad or Android apps. And um, so uh, it's, not, it's not that the basic idea of the operating system is the problem. It's, it's getting, it's two things. It's one thing is getting more and better apps for the tablet part of the operating system. And that's not Dell or you know, HP or Acer's problem, the hardware guy's problem. That's Microsoft's problem trying to get those. But the hardware is also a big issue because, you know, if you want to make something that works really well, even as a slim laptop, mm. it's probably not going to be as thin or light as, say, an iPad. And so if you buy one of these hybrids, I think you can't expect a really first-rate tablet experience out of it. So, so Walt, uh, one of the things is that the, the, the screen is connected to the keyboard. If the two things disconnected, maybe that would be the solution. Um, I throw that out there to you. Uh, not that you design these things, but it, it would seem that it has some nice features. Right, and there are a few of those. Those are uh, 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 called detachables, not so much convertibles. And in those cases, yes, the tablet is can be, and in some cases is, a, a, uh, a tablet of the size and shape and, and uh, thickness that you would expect of a tablet. And they, they come out and then they snap back into the base. Uh, that, if you're, if you're focused on having both the laptop uh, and the, the tablet, that might be a, a better solution if the tablet uh, uh, matters a lot to you. But there's another problem with uh, this particular uh, machine, this Dell. It's very uh, sturdy. It's well built. Mm. It's pricey, by the way. It's about twelve hundred bucks. But it has bad battery life. In in my 
uh, battery test that I use for all laptops. Um, it did uh, about three and a half hours, and in normal use, that means probably four to five hours. And that's really uh, not great, even for a laptop, and it's particularly poor if you're thinking of it as a tablet. Okay, great stuff. As always, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much. The Big W himself, Walt Mossberg. Take care. Thank you, Walt, and you can read more on that on WSJ.com. I'm Simon Constable, and this has been Digits.